Hi, welcome back to Cikgu Dila channel and in this video, we will learn about the interactions between living things, science year 6. But in this topic, we will focus more on the interactions between plant. For the interactions between animals, you can refer to my previous video. Okay. We have interactions between plants. So, interactions between plants take place when plants growing in a habitat that compete to obtain the same basic needs. Can you name what is the basic needs of plant? Uh, okay. So, the competitions among plants occurs when there is insufficient of sunlight. There is insufficient insufficiency of water. There are insufficient nutrients and minerals. And it is too cramped and lack of space for growth. So competitions between plants can be either the same species or different species. So interactions between plants. Also, we have a symbiosis where in this case, the interactions involve different species of plants that grow at the same place. So, we move to the first one, which is the symbiosis, common cellism. So, common cellism is the interactions that take place when one plant, which is we call as a common cell, benefits, while the other plant, which is the host, is neither benefited nor harmed. So, this means one can benefit, the other one, nothing happened. So, that is common, common cellism. So, this is one of the example, common cellism interactions, which is we have an orchid plant. The orchid grows on the tree branch to obtain sufficient sunlight without harming the tree. So, they grow on the tree branch, but they don't do anything to the, to the, to the tree. Sorry. Okay. So, we have another example, which is the bird nest fern. So, the bird nest fern grow on the branch of the oil palm tree or any tall tree to obtain sunlight. Okay, so this bird nest fern do not harm the host tree. The host tree is the, for example, the oil palm tree, the tall tree that they grow on. Okay, so that is a common cellism. We move to the second one, which is the interactions between plants, mutualism. So, mutualism is the interactions between two plants that benefit each other. So, in this example, this is uh, one of the extra examples. We don't have it in the textbooks. Just for your extra knowledge, we have this one. We have uh, lichen. So, this one is made of an algae and fungi. So, in this situations the algae provide food to the fungi while the fungi provide protections to the algae so that means they need each other they're helping each other so in this case so the last one we have the interactions between plants which is a parasitism so parasitism is where the interactions happen when only one plant the parasite benefits while the other plants the host is harmed and eventually dies so we have this example we have a fungus the fungus is the parasite once the fungus grow on the tree branch tree or a branch that is the host this parasite will absorb nutrient from the tree not even there grow there they also absorb the nutrient from the tree so this is parasite so they get benefit the fungus get benefit but what happened to the tree they lost their nutrient the nutrient will be absorbed by the fungus and we have another example which is the mistletoe plant the mistletoe plant is the parasite they grow on the tree branch usually on the tree branch which is the host they obtain nutrient and water. They absorb the nutrient and water from the tree. And eventually, you can see from this diagram, what happened? 
that the branch, the tree branch, the host eventually starting die. But the mistletoe plant is still ah fresh, still alive. Mm, that is parasite. That is the interaction parasitism. So that's it for this lesson. And same as usual, we have a QR code here. You can scan this QR code for more notes and exercise. I think that's it. See you in my next video. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.